So if I ask you, did you understand all that? Would you say yes? I couldn't. Um, also, I'll remind you that Matthew really likes the phrase weeping and gnashing of teeth. He uses it six times in his gospel. So just know that that's, I think, Matthew's uh, little insert into what Jesus is telling us. But parables. The kingdom of heaven is like lying down with dogs. The kingdom of heaven is like crossing your eyes. Yeah, that doesn't sound good, does it? Our gospel for today is a whole string of parables Jesus used for teaching. They sound to me like those books of manners for kids. Do this or this will happen. Or like poor Richard's almanac. Lots of advice. There are some big differences between Jesus' parables and those other sayings, though. The other sayings always give an answer. Lie down with dogs, get up with fleas. Cross your eyes, they'll stay that way. Most of those sayings are cautionary. They warn us of negative, harmful consequences if we misbehave. They are short and complete. You don't have to guess at or think about what they mean. They close the conversation, so that's all that needs to be said. Jesus' parables are very different. They don't seem to have negative consequences, but they do not have simple, easy explanations. They give us a lot to think about, a lot to guess at, and they open the way, if we want to, for endless conversation. Freddie Beekner has said that with jokes and parables, if you have to have it explained, you shouldn't bother. The morality sayings are used to keep people in line, to teach manners, to bring everybody into conformity so we're all doing the same thing. Parables are to make us think and act. And it helps to have historical context for some of them. A lot of what Jesus said to his listeners doesn't make sense to us today, or it doesn't hit us the way it hit them because of the distance and time and different cultures and so forth. Jesus says, the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed planted in a field. Mustard is an invasive weed where I used to live out in the middle of New York State, each spring there were miles and miles of gorgeous dandelions, lovely golden fields. Every now and then in the middle of the lovely golden field was a yellow green plant, mustard. In Jesus' day it was against the law to plant mustard in a field or garden with other plants. It was considered an outsider, a rogue, and not a good behavior plant. So how can it be like the kingdom of heaven? You'll have to figure that out for yourself, or we could talk about it. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman makes, mixes into flour. Once yeast, or any leaven, is mixed in with flour, it can't be separated. But leaven also was against the law at times. When cleaning house to prepare for Passover, all traces of leaven had to be removed so that bread would be unleavened. And comparing the kingdom of heaven to something involving a woman, unthinkable. So how is that like the kingdom of heaven? Jesus would have shocked his listeners with those parables. Mustard and leaven and God's kingdom all connected? It wouldn't have made sense. So here's another parable I just made up. Well, before I wrote this. How about the kingdom of heaven is like a dog who knows he's a good boy. 
There's a cartoon that is supposed to make us laugh, but it always makes me cry. It's a dog sitting, staring out into space, and he's thinking, what if I never find out who's a good boy? We chuckle at it because so often we or other people will say, who's a good boy to their adoring pet? It's sad because so many of us humans spend our lives wondering about ourselves. Are we good enough? What's good enough? We wonder needlessly because God has already declared us good and in one of the Eucharistic prayers it says, he says we're worthy to stand before him, not fall down with our faces in the dirt like the other gods wanted people to do, but stand face to face with God. We can be blind to the worthiness that God gives us. We spend lives in blindness to God's love for us, and we keep wondering, who's a good boy? We can make ourselves sick wondering about being a good boy or girl. Then I hope we turn to Jesus, who can bring us healing, not just physical healing, but we can be cured of our bad relationships. He can help us have a holy and whole relationship with God and with others. That healing is called grace, and it's peace and hope and joy and love, all of the wonderful gifts we have from God. We're the good boy or girl, not because we are so good, even though God says we're good, but because God shares goodness with us. This goodness can heal us of everything that puts us in the not a good boy camp. When we see the world divided between them and us, and we think us is the good guy, we need God's goodness to heal us. When we put up divisions between us and others, we need God's goodness to heal us, to tear down those divisions. When we are blind to God's presence in our lives and in the world around us, we need God's goodness to heal us. God's goodness is here for us all. It's all around us, just waiting for us to see and accept and put into our lives. God's goodness is in everything we say and do when we are open to living in God's goodness. We just need to reach out our hand, our heart, our life, and open ourselves and let God's goodness fill us, fill our lives and bring the healing that makes us a part of God's family. God's goodness helps us to be loving to others, especially those we might not really care for. We can do this knowing that as we are given God completely and without reservation, so we can also give ourselves to others completely and without reservation because right now we're in the kingdom of heaven. This is how good boy dogs live, by loving us completely and without reservation. Cats, not so much. Dogs, yes. When we can live that way, we share in the blessings of the end of the age that have already started. We share and are heirs in God's kingdom. This is how we live Christianity, or becoming little Christs, made in the image of God as Jesus was. It's how we are good boys and girls. The kingdom of heaven, or maybe we might want to call it the community of God, is like someone in church, or in the supermarket, or at home, or walking somewhere. Someone who is so filled with God's love for themselves and everyone that they can't wait to go out and share it. May that be us, 
so may the kingdom of heaven be like each one of us. Who's a good boy? Pat yourselves on the head. Give yourself a little scritch behind the ear. We're all good boys and girls.